degrading and, 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 shame, yeah. and shaming situation that they don't speak about it because mm -hmm. it's not for a, there's mm -hmm. not the role of a man to speak about these things and there's no environment created for a man to speak in it. and to be honest if i'm going to be brutally honest that is man's fault we don't create the environment for ourselves to speak about these mm -hmm. issues amongst ourselves it's true because you seem as soft right it's always a bravado to to, to maintain mm -hmm. and so you might only get that conversation happening among the closest of brothers and not necessarily brothers by blood but yeah, brothers, yeah. Uh, brotherhood yeah brotherhood, yeah, yeah. you all, you always hear it sorry cross right, right. but you always hear that you know when men are going through crisis they don't have any one to go and talk to women have that that network support you know that support system you know and i mean i i guess i was i i was personally i had the perfect not the perfect a very interesting ingredient of ingredients of upbringing whereby i was raised in a single parent household with a grandmother and my father my grandmother's son who is my father and i, I didn't grow up my my mother was although i knew you know she was in the picture god rest her soul she's since passed but she i didn't live with her so i but I still grew up with certain principles in me whereby I had a balance of being with a woman, with a woman and, and, and a father yeah. who was, who encouraged me to not be a, a ego driven man, but to modulate between the balance of being emotional, but be still being a man and going out there and, you know, taking up your rightful place as a man in society. And I mean that to say, you know, like certain things like being a provider and, mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, owning up to your responsibilities and things like that. And I think because of not having um, like that direct interaction with a mother in my household, because let's face it, a grandmother is, is a little different. Yeah. You know? Oh, grandmothers. God grandmothers are, 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 <laughs> grandmothers are, are amazing. They're beautiful. But they're not your direct mother, you know? Yeah. So, and, and I guess in, in a way, that's why I, I think I, I'm always with, with women because it's not like I have... You know, they like, they like to put it as mommy issues. It's not like that because I don't need. Well, that's the, that's the first thing a lot of people think that yeah. as you, yeah, you got mommy issues and yeah, you're looking for a mother. Care no, 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 no. So they yeah. people are quick to assume and and put something into a category yeah. so quickly because of your your past experience or an experience that you had yeah, in yeah. another situation. You claim that this is that so quickly without truly analyzing the entire situation that the person may just be that type of person yeah and i think because of not having that direct uh, motherly presence in my house i kind of, I've kind of always look for that that um that influence from being around positive strong independent women because you know i'm still learning if, if that makes any sense but everyone you know everyone is a yeah. relationship you're always learning i don't think someone 50 years yeah. into a marriage or relationship common law marriage that they're still not learning each other right, right i mean they know each other well but there's still things that you are still learning on a daily basis about that person but i mean like how a mother models her parental style to her child okay right in that way i didn't necessarily have that in my household although i would go on to my mother just down the street on a regular basis but when you're not in the household raising you it's a little different you know but she was great my mom was awesome but like and I think because as you get older, you, you realize that everything that you, that you are as an adult, there will, there's an effect and an answer, a cause and effect going back to your child. Uh, almost everything, man. I am 99.9% I am .9 sure of that. So how have your relationships been before your marriage, Kwame? Mm. Mm. Must cast my mind back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, relationships been before marriage um, well obviously you know you're still young so there's a level I found of immaturity everybody's growing and my my thoughts on it are that when you're young and you're in a relationship you can't necessarily cement everything yet because that person is still learning them and also learning you mm -hmm. so there's certain things that you have to just handle on a day-to-day -day basis there are principles that you someone said they're not hearing you good Kwame Oh, you hear me now? Well, we'll soon see. Can you hear him <laughs> any better? So we'll soon yeah. find out. Yeah. Um, meaning that the, the, the principles in the relationship, the general principles you still have, love, respect, honor, and trust. But on situations, you don't necessarily, you learn about those 
on a daily basis, how a person will handle a particular event. For instance, mm -hmm. if you're out with your girlfriend or wife and you meet up on an ex, how does your partner handle that? Yeah. If you're out... That and, maturity level. Yeah. Yeah, and there's yeah. things that you're, as you mentioned, you might not know about the person. Um, you may meet me, know that I have, you know, been saved and, and have given up that life, but somebody I haven't seen in 10 years might remember when it was on top of my head and your partner might not know such things about you so spinning clockwise and anti-clockwise <laughs> same time so the things that you have I, I don't i don't think you should go into any relationship rigid yeah you have, must have some level of flexibility you must have some level of acceptance mm. and i remember the best advice um a person gave me who was in a long-term relationship was to pick your battles not every fight must be fought. Some things yeah. you just let go. I, I have this thing with... Um, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I have this thing with... My brother. Not my brother, but I, I joke with him and he said the whole yes there thing, mm -hmm. you know. And someone actually posted that here on, uh, on The View. They were talking about a, a celebrity said that to have a good relationship, a good marriage, he just says yes there and agrees with everything. But where is the... Individuality? It, exactly. To I compromise and just that. give in to someone. It the, also gives a false image. Let's think about it. If you're, if you're put in a situation or asked a question and you, you give a okay, yes, their answer, your partner now thinks that's how you view, that's your opinion on a particular thing. Yeah. I am extremely honest. You, to, to know me is to love me. So if you love me, you must know me. Yeah, and I'm not going to give you a fake. I'm not a yes there person mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that everything must come to an argument. I respect the other person's opinion. Exactly. And if I find that is a level of where it's six and one half dozen of another, I have no problem um, compromising. And that is, I think, where um, Joseph came in with, uh, in, when he said an independent, strong, intelligent woman. Mm -hmm. If you respect your partner as an equal, you have no problem whatsoever giving in, even if you can't see the destination of the journey. I, I pattern it as, a dri as um, taking a drive. You might be in the driver's seat, and your navigation in your head is telling you the best way to get to this place is to turn right. Your partner says turn left. And you're like, but no, I, I'm more sure turning right is the better way. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on how you know your partner, and she says, no, I, all my heart believe turn left. You might say, well, hey, let's <laughs> turn left that. and see where it goes. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Because you trust that she's not leading you astray. And leading uh, you astray. Is keeping you safe. Right. But then it's also a learning process because if it turns out to be definitely a wrong move, then it won't happen again. Yeah. <laughs> but at least it's trial and error. Yeah, trial and error and learning. Yeah. And you, you go along with it. And sometimes it might lead you down on a path that you didn't expect, but it was one that you should be on. An accidental treasure, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's nothing hard and fast. You just go with the flow and you respect each other. That's a good perspective, yeah. No, I, I agree with all of that. Um, <laughs> Some nuggets, yeah, man. Yeah. Some <laughs> nuggets. <laughs> I tell you, man. So... You know, lots of people say they accept the guy for who he is. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, more, more than not, pe people try to change the person, whether directly or indirectly. Have y'all experienced that going into the relationship? Even though they say they have accepted you for who you are, but you find that little things and patterns that do, they're trying to change you into what they expect you to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can think of a relationship I was in last year, man. And I had to, you know, lovely girl, but I had to, I had to bow out. I'm not saying that I'm perfect by any means, but I think when you start to admit to changes that you are not really a, are about or that's not you as a person. You start to change yourself into a person that you know you you aren't. You know, mm -hmm. just to, and you're compromising your whole character and, and, and convincing yourself thinking that, yeah, you know, this is who, this, this is who I might be, but really and truly, all roads lead to that, that conflict again because that's not you for whatever reason. And- So you, you tried in a sense, but you realized that it wasn't you. Yeah, I was, I'm, uh, just like Kwame said, I'm very, very, probably too open, too honest, you know, too basic when it comes to telling the truth. 
you know, and God, that's so rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when people encounter that, they they think that that that's the, the last thing they think is a, it's a rare quality. They think that ah, that, that can't be for real. This guy got to be hiding something, you know. So but anyway, I want to say something about change because yeah. we have this also this misconception that change is bad. We keep saying change, but there's also an element of it of growth. As we, uh, uh, as humans, as organisms, we learn, we encounter different cultures, different people, we grow. Mm -hmm. the, the thing about it is that it has to be, fundamentally, you have to be confident of who you are. And it calls for a lot of introspection. It doesn't always have to be male good to point, female um, mm -hmm. interaction. Yeah. But let's say for this, for the argument of this, um, this yeah. thing, that it is male to female. You might meet a female who's close to you that have pointed out a fundamental flaw in your character. It might not be something flattering, you, you don't want to hear it, but when you go away by yourself and you do some introspection, you might say, you know what? It hurt me to hear it, but it's true. Mm -hmm. And therefore, so you, have you, to accept that. Yeah, you accept it and you, you grow within yourself. First thing, you can't change anybody and anybody can't change you. Mm -hmm. We only have the power to change ourselves. So therefore, a person identifying a flaw in you or identifying what they think is a flaw in you, you still have to go away and say, well, is this true? Mm -hmm. Is this flaw me? Is this who I am? Is this what I'm going on? And then you decide within yourself, I am going to change. But as what Joseph was saying, you don't change for anybody. Yeah, that's true. You don't, because if, if you meet Jane and Jane is a party girl, but you into you party once in a while, but you then because of Jane, you change into a well party guy. You're trying to convince yourself. Yeah, you, yeah. I, fundamentally, to your core is not you, so it's not going to work. I, but then, if you yeah. change that person, and then you meet um, Jillian, and Jillian wants you to be the conservative Christian and always wear turtlenecks, and you change for that. <laughs> I'm not saying that every Christian Jillian. wears turtlenecks. Hallelujah! 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 <laughs> but, you know, you might want to change. You keep changing yourself. You keep adapting or, 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 or manipulating yourself yeah. to fit somebody else's ideal. You're never true to yourself. Yeah. And I always believe to thine own self be true. But mm -hmm. I, I, from experience, I've seen so many persons go into a relationship knowing X about that person. Mm -hmm. Some good and some bad. Mm -hmm and they try to change into what they think the person should be, regardless, to, as you just said, of it being a fault or anything. Mm -hmm. I personally know too many women that go into a relationship and they want that guy to be squeaky clean, perfect, and yeah. what the ideal man in their head. Mm -hmm. So they're taking away everything that you met him partying, as you just said, mm -hmm. or you met him looking a certain way, you met him dressing a particular way, but then all of a sudden, no, so he, is in the long-term relationship and he settled down with you, mm. he shouldn't dress a certain way anymore. He shouldn't be partying. <laughs> and and you, you might laugh on but that is a reality. No, I'm so, laughing at the, the, the converse, so to speak. Because recently, because of, remember there was a, something on social media where a young lady was said to be going to a funeral and she was wearing a see-through white top with her breast exposed. And there was a lot of controversy saying that um guys would want to talk to her date her but never take her home, home. Exactly. Like her mother yeah. right so that's why i'm laughing at because no matter which way it goes male to female male female to male if you meet a person and they are showing you parts of themselves believe them don't ever think <laughs> that believe them that believe you can them. change them to a <laughs> fundamental level don't get in a relationship thinking oh he does smoke no but i'll change that Oh, he's yeah. horrible with money, so, but I'll change that. Yeah, oh, yeah. she likes to hang her boat with enough I, men. I like, I'll okay, and I'm gonna, and you know what? I want to be honest with this this particular program. I know lots of people who were the outside person, mm -hmm. whether it, in either way, yeah. and the person tried to change them and think that. So you were the outside person. Why you think they're going to now find the need to be faithful to you? Oh yeah, that's, yeah, man. You know, that's a know your role situation. Yeah. Like, I'm like, <laughs> so all of a sudden you have changed the demographics <laughs> of that situation completely. Yeah. Why should they be obligated to be faithful to you? And then you know vets because they cheated on you. But you started that particular pattern. You started the domino effect to begin with. You know, you know the saying goes: how you get them is how you lose them. 
you know. And them could be anybody, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 but no, but that's so true. I see so many persons and they're disappointed because of this personal expectation that um, pressure that they put on the person. Yeah. And as, you, as you said, if you see them and they show you who they are, believe yeah. them. Yeah. You actually, you touched on a point and this is the second time you touched on it about a person's perspective of the ideal man and woman. It's long been a pet peeve of mine when I see people speak on social media or I see memes about um, a real man yeah, would. Yeah. And to me, a woman and a man, both concepts are such broad topics. How do you have a finite mm -hmm. definition of what this person should do? Yeah, we all fall into a pattern of right and wrong based on our societal construct. But to define a real man would do this, and a lot of it is coming out of bitter or bad situations. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you use the opposite as a defining standard. I find, to be honest, a lot of people's definition of what their partner should be mm -hmm. is extremely false. What, uh, for, let's do an example. For a woman, I want a man that is X, Y, Z. And usually this, not I want, but the, the definition of their ideal is usually far off from what the end goal is they want a man to be there for them to be mm -hmm. um supportive to be respectful but the ideal they have in their heads when they're searching the criteria mm -hmm. does not produce that result and that is why there's a lot of disappointment and, and i find that even in that search they always end up finding the same particular guy over yep, and over, over and over again and until that person whether male or female stops mm -hmm. and assesses themselves introspection yeah. then they will not break that cycle of fighting the same person over and over and mm -hmm. over again. If you keep searching in a pasture, you're going to find goats. It's just how it is. <laughs> or, <African> or, <laughs> or, or dead grass. I mean, brown, brown grass. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that that is... So, that Joseph basically brought the next question. Do people go into a relationship... Um, being who they really are or do you feel that some people put on a facade for the sake of this new relationship i i, I think personally it's human nature to you know when you best foot forward ouch mother word snatcher mother word snatcher boy listen put your best foot forward you know and and that should be a reflection of you know how you continually you know, engage with that person but like Sorry, what was the question again? Right, no. <laughs> I was so lost. No, I know, I know, all over the place. Yeah. But do people go into a relationship being someone else or putting on a facade for the sake of a new relationship? Yeah, I don't, I, I personally don't. I, um, what you see is what you get. And probably that's why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, but you call it a facade though, because, all right, I, I do agree that there are some who create what a person wants and pretend to be it there are some who do that yeah but there are others who are seemingly to do that because they put their best foot forward for instance i might not be the most tidy of per people you're not going to know that until you get to know me deeper and if your your ocd can't reconcile with my untidiness <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. then we can have a problem yeah not in the first day or the first month but when you get to be spending time at me say Back in the day in month three, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. <laughs> but then you get then you can realize where he's he has his underwear over the, 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 the sink and all kind of thing. Or, or is it the common one where, where the ladies um you know you, you hear all the time that they throw the clothes next to the hamper and open it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're oh, in the hamper. The hamper right there. Yeah, and the clothes here. Lord, you can't put in the hamper. In in Yeah, it's so close. It's like Oh my goodness like I'm, I'm a firm believer though that you should not try to match manufacture an identity that you do not possess mm -hmm. because after a while everything will unfold after like if it's not you everything will everything will show itself in time a and, mask is temporary and i yeah <laughs> even the best actors you can read their energy sometimes off of the screen okay so i had a conversation with a particular at a particular store and all of us were in there and there were lots of 
fake everything. <laughs> fake boobs, fake butts, fake thighs, fake everything. And so the lady working in the store was like, so, so one lady asked me, Greg, is this the one that the girl that dropped out in the video? <laughs> I said, well, I don't know, but if someone wants to wear, I don't know why, because everything fit. The hair fit, the eyelashes fit, mm. the bust fit, the hips fit, the butt fit. She said, well, so the, the, world, the girl working in the store said to me, well, that's why you don't last after the flesh. She, you, I'm like, I said, hold up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, I mean, hold up. You selling these things. And then you're telling me, but don't last after the flesh, that you don't go after looks. <laughs> are looks it. important to y'all? I said, I said, are looks important? <laughs> of course, man. I mean, keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it real. No, I mean, looks are what, what going to attract you to a person. I, I personally feel, even though we, we don't admit it necessarily as much as we would like, we all have a type. Even if it's not necessarily a certain holistic, you know, package, it is one little thing about a person physically that attracts. It could be somebody's smile, it could be you know? smell, it could be toes, large, look at your crusty toes and your crusty feet, murder. <laughs> and some women say they like <laughs> a man's teeth, his arms, his smell. These are things I've heard women say that they like. Yeah, um, yeah uh, image and, and, and physical attributes are yeah, important yeah. initially, yeah. Uh, but the thing about the whole fake, the, the, the stuff you put on, like fake boobs, the, the, the padding for the fake butt and stuff. My problem girl, with that girl, comes girl, girl. <laughs> <laughs> My problem with that comes is that it's temporary. In yeah, that yeah. when if the night ends a particular sort of way or if the three weeks end a particular sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine you you go home and, exactly. and you got this curvaceous coat bottle like like this, bro, like I end up with a spirit. And, and then you end up oh, with you a spirit. Oh, you mean the hourglass? Yes, yes. yes. I, 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 I thought you were the people on this. Oh, no. <laughs> you go with an hourglass and then you a end up with a spirit shape, level. And then you end up with a, with a celery stick. A spirit like, level. <laughs> <laughs> but then you've portrayed a false image yeah. and you have to know that's not going to end well. Yeah, and you can't. You, I mean, I, personally, if that happened to me, I don't know. I have never been in that, in that situation before. And. Like I have been in relationships where this is my best case scenario of that, of that example of yours, where women thought that they had for whatever, for whatever reason, they gave their hair like a buzz cut very close and they were petrified. I remember one girlfriend of mine to show me like to, sh to see me the next day. And I was like, I was like, what was it? Was it was the issue? Like, I I know I know bec that is because of how they were shaped by previous experiences or what they okay. think the what public is perception the ideal is. You know, look. but I was like, I with you for for you. I mean, and the rest of the body is still still there. Hello. Like, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, she looked good. I mean, like I I yeah. Also, you should be comfortable in a relationship. You should not feel that you have to put on something or yeah. be not yourself, whether physically or spiritually in order for someone to like you because then yeah. you have to know that's temporary who you are physically who you are inside that has to attract a person for it to be long-term and lasting if you have to put on a uh, uh, fake stuff on the outside or pretend to like something or pretend to be someone that you're not then that person's not for you it's really that simple how do y'all think that when a lady gets dolled up she does her hair she does the makeup nails Full work, shoes, drama. Is she going out there to attract a guy or is it, I, I like to call it war paint. <laughs> so they're going to war to battle other women. Yeah, and women, to be yeah. The selfie but, queen that mm. night or to be the belly ball or be Cinderella. Because not every woman does it to go to war with other women because mm. they really are trying to attract the opposite sex. Yeah. But too many times it's not about attracting the opposite sex. It's they're going up there. And they're gonna outdo the next lady. I well, say something. But <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? I I personally think is more about because when you think about it, I think it's more about as you said. You know, looking good next to their female counterpart. I don't. I wouldn't say mostly, but a high percentage of it. You know, they want to look. It as, is going. It is like females going to war. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. You, you, I'm sorry, but that's what it is. They're going to war with think They have to be the tribal yeah. leader. They mm -hmm. have to be the one in charge. They can't yeah. let none of these other 
I was going to say another word. Heifers. Yeah, don't do yeah. that. Very good. You know that's my favorite word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't let these heifers don't do me tonight. Yeah. And it, it and they missed the, the the reason behind it so far. But also, I have to say this part because we have to look at it holistically. There are a large majority who are going to attract attention, mm. um, um, especially from males, even from females in a competition kind of way. They are the ones who, as you say, are, are going to war and, and it's about being the baddest bell of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're also ones who use it as an empowerment thing, who, who put on the makeup and even before they step through the door, mm -hmm. they feel better about themselves. Yeah. It's an empowering thing for them. So I find there is a, a movement so that is not necessarily about anyone else, but so I feel good about myself. And mm -hmm. whether that is good or bad, we'll have to investigate. But I have to say in conjunction with mm -hmm. what you guys said, mm -hmm. that there are women out there who put on the makeup and who who has this makeup now, this is like sci-fi. They can change their complete appearance. Listen, yeah, boy. I am a makeup artist, <laughs> but Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Some of those transformations, I I even not want to roll over the next morning. <laughs> And see that missing, and go like, where are you going? I didn't drink that much alcohol. Where you where, bring the back, bring <laughs> put back on that face and lay back down there. Yeah, <laughs> or take it like, off the table. <laughs> put back on that face because that ain't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is an empowerment issue, and I find that the people who take makeup as an art form see that as mm -hmm. as when they have their clients, they're ones who use it to empower themselves and you know um as a makeup artist yourself you know the ones who are just going out there to look the best and attract the most attention mm -hmm. you know those ones and you know the ones who are just going to use it to empower themselves who may not care if they meet one new person or or be the best looking person at the event yeah. but who use it to you know what i feel better about myself in this present moment when you're finished and they're still in that chair and you show them the mirror, they feel better about themselves then. doesn't have anything to do exactly. with this. I think it's more, it, it's a combination of both of what y'all are saying, feeling better about yourself and, you know, warping. For, like, like for me, as a makeup and artist. I think it's more those, those factors more so than like looking to impress a man. For me, as a makeup artist, and yeah. I agree with you, for me, as yeah. a makeup artist, I'm about bettering and enhancing you yeah. and what you want to show the world than trying to change your face or structure and make you into something completely different yeah like i had a lady who came to me she was going on her first date and she wanted her makeup done she said but well, i do this again you know i was like <laughs> but it's not the same so if you're doing this for him for the first this is what you're showing him for yeah. the first and you're not doing it again well you should get hard <laughs> <laughs> You deserve a horn. So no, don't <laughs> like, change like, from being a makeup artist to being a counselor. Don't ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so serious. I'm like, wow. so you start, you, and that's my thing about relationships. Never start anything you are not prepared. If you're going to take me to dinner or take anybody to dinner, please don't start out taking them to the cliff. <laughs> no, no, no. If you know you can only afford the cliff today and you can't afford it the next six years, Treat Start small. I didn't say pink star, but start small. Um, <laughs> three, 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 what? Three dollars and get her that granny. Hello. Grannies, yeah. I mean, <laughs> three dollars and everything get her yeah. Even prepare a meal, <laughs> something, or yeah. get somebody prepared. Things really Funny small. Funny enough, you mentioned that. Now we're on this topic. I yeah. had posted a conversational piece a while ago about... Funny enough, uh, the very Valentine's Day. Oh God, Day. Brian says start with wing dings. <laughs> wing dings. <laughs> if, they are, if they are special. I'm like looking for a particular kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I had said for Valentine's Day, would you prefer a man to take you to an expensive restaurant or to cook for you your favorite meal? And what was the response? I'm curious. Yeah. Majority of of people on that post at that time said they prefer the man to take them to an expensive restaurant. And I said, but if... So they can do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A hashtag yeah. clip. <laughs> because it's a competition. It's a competition again. See, like, once, yeah, yeah. see, yeah. once again, well, it's a yeah, competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I honestly, for me, I felt the ones who said that they would prefer the man to cook their favorite meal were on a deeper level. And more depth. It wasn't them, more yeah. um, superficial. They were on a deeper level. They were looking for something more than... And to find a man that could cook, it keep it. <laughs> and I actually yeah. know you are not to know your favorite and meal. 
But exactly. So those are those are key points. Paying attention. Paying attention. Those are key points to look for. If you say, well, you know what, this Valentine's Day, I don't want to go anywhere. Um, prepare my favorite meal. I walk out, and he know God call your mother to find out what you was eat. He not the one. Best friend. Not the one. This question was um like existing relationships or first dates. This was existing relationships. Existing relationships. Yeah. So therefore, to me, if you're looking. And you brought up an interesting point just now about the, the, the taking pictures thing, which is what I feel oh, yeah. is people's gross nowadays with the, I won't call it holiday, just celebrated. That <laughs> is more <laughs> about showing off what I got or yeah. what I did than the spirit of it. Because I've heard and I've seen, and I, I, I guess I think that's what we were. It's like Christmas. Yeah, yeah. we were going to talk about the whole Valentine's Day thing. And it's more about, okay, I am with my man and we're at XYZ restaurant or I got a bear, uh, a chain, a, a necklace, a tennis bracelet. It's more about why you're showing off all these things on, on, on yeah. social media rather than enjoying the spirit of the, the, the reason yeah, for the intimacy between you and your partner. As you say, the capturing the moments and not able to experience the, the, the moments themselves. The essence know? of it. Yeah, the essence it's of like it. It's like you just drink, you guzzling the wine instead of savoring the, yeah, the yeah. actual wine. No, but, really? but even like social media capturing mm. the, the actual event, you know? They, they're capturing the event and not experiencing the event. Yeah. Very yeah. true. How many times have you been to a party and the party is going on? And people are spending so much time taking pictures of the party, pretending. Well, I mean, there's a different conversation, Bobby. <laughs> Let, yeah. Let me stay yeah, on yeah. track. Let me stay on track. Focus. <laughs> focus. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a whole other <laughs> conversation. That's another kettle of fish. <laughs> oh Jesus. So this, this is the yeah. um, disparity sometimes between men and women because you might take out a girl, and you might genuinely be able to afford such things at a high level. Good, good topic. And take her out, and and you're having, and then she spends ninety. 85% at the time, taking pictures of the food, taking pictures of herself, um, doing, oh my God, the videos. Where they, <laughs> they look at each and other. Hold and hold on a minute. <laughs> and this, I, the rewind thing, the back and yeah, forth. Back and forth. Like, good yeah. Lord, you're trying to make me nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's more about that and actually what? enjoying the moment there. I got a question for you guys though. Like, w w if you ask a girl out, like, who, like first date for instance, who is expected you would to say pay? to pay? That is a... You know, oh, okay. Okay, hold on, hold I, I on. Th I thought you would have asked that no, question, right? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so, there's an etiquette and yes. protocol. Yeah, 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 the protocol to it. You can have the conversation yeah. about the bill before you go to mm. dinner. As yeah. long as you have the conversation before you go to dinner, there's technically nothing wrong. But if you decide to ask that person out, yeah, it's on you. you yeah, it's, I, it's I, on you. So I totally don't agree. don't get confused, man. Don't, I totally agree. Don't get <laughs> confused totally if you invite out when I have to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know that the credit card only got hundred dollars <laughs> on it, don't max it up the same night. Gizzards and wings. Catch the cafe livers. stall, not the actual cafe stall, the one in Bahama building. <laughs> 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 but yeah, there's etiquette about it. Um, what I found too is, I've actually been in a situation. I've had a friend who is very well off. He has taken a lady out. He said he took her out seven times, and seven times he took her to different a different restaurant each time, but all high end. And the eighth time, he hinted subtly that you know, um, maybe this time she should pay. And she was very offended because no, after the seventh date, they're dating wow. and she was offended. So he said, okay, no problem. And he cut it off that time, right there and then, because he felt that he last you know, after long, seven dates, He lasts <laughs> yeah, long, long, man. I must say, last long. But I've long. also been on a first date where the lady offered to pay. So and I would have run with that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have run with that to the... I and I think that. that most men yeah. appreciate because we are we are, well, we are men. Uh, we're not twenty one anymore, and we are men. <laughs> no, <have> <laughs> I out myself early, yeah. Panese boy. That I've experienced going through the whole thing of when you invite a girl out yeah. or you, you want to go out with a lady, you 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 pay. Yeah. So then it's quite refreshing when you find that the lady says, "No, I got it." You almost fall in love at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. 
He's like, this is the one. He's like, like just, <laughs> just, that, just that hypothetical got me smiling. <laughs> you was like, yo, she get it good. <laughs> But, oh, you know, hit another topic. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. We're going to get this. We'll get this sooner or later. <laughs> when the man yeah. pays, is there any obligation? This was a hot topic on social media. Yeah. Uh-oh. Of the ladies to, for lack of a better word, put out. Put out, yeah. Obviously, if you carry you, um, Shafet will be, then, you know... Get a shit. But if the Bing Ding special, oh, let me tell you. Some, <laughs> but somebody then, can get some Bing Ding special. Especially as men... <laughs> If you're taking her uh, to, the to Sin Sin, I think I call it right. Sin Sin. Sin Sin, thank you. And you spend how much amount of money? Hundreds of dollars, let's say. Seven course meal, whatever. Mm. Uh, do you expect anything afterwards? As men? I, I think it is what you are truly going in to yeah. get yeah. out of that particular first. If you are only trying to impress them to get that, well, that's what you will expect. Mm -hmm. But if you're just in trying to impress them for impressing them, say, and yeah. to see if they will like you for you, mm -hmm. that's why I said start with what you can yeah. afford. Start with being who you are and, and gradually build into something. Taking your ass to Chin Chin yeah. down the line. No, not necessarily start up, taking the Chin Chin with this expectation. I just spent $400 yeah. and not all I get is some tongue. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> start <laughs> real or you can get fake, Hello, man. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But it is your be. own personal expectation, I feel, yeah. what you going into the actual day. If you are honest about why you are mm. taking that person to dinner and to chin chin, then there's no expectation. We, if it's a date, yeah. if, you're, if you're just going out, if you're taking a person out, regardless of where you go, it's just a date. There's no obligation for anything else but conversation and food. That is the conceptualization of a date. I'm, I took you out. I want to know about you. I want to learn about you. No matter where we go, whether it is to liver cutters on the boardwalk or to Chin Chin, the idea is conversation and, and company. Yeah. And if that's all what it was, that's good. But the, the whole reason behind that topic coming up on social mm -hmm. media is that that is not what yeah, there is. Exactly. Yeah. But that, no, exactly. Fans, yeah. So that's yeah. if the person is genuinely going yeah. into it, being genuine mm, yeah. of a wanting to take you and not just show that you're affluent and you you, you got a credit card that ain't gonna decline yeah. and, and you could roll you the big shotter. Yeah. So you're trying to you're putting on this facade, you know a lot of this credit card is what it wants. And it's probably tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> So make it count to make honey, cause this is for the bar. Let me tell you the bite This boy just spent. <laughs> so if you go in, if you go into it wrong, you you cannot. It can't end right. Uh, fellas, true, I true. mean, like this, this is a thing to, to to the guys. Like, be honest with yourself. Realize at the end of the day that women, if you're going in looking for sex, women ultimately have the power of consent at the end of the at the end of the scenario when it comes to. No, you say that. Do you feel that on meeting a guy, a woman knows if she's going to put out even before it goes any further? I think sometimes it's true, but the general yeah. conception that, that always happens to me is a myth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that it always happens. Yeah, because you can be in a relationship. You, you get can, some sorry. nods from a lady, yeah. and producer. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that she will have an idea of if she would. Because she might be attracted to you, or she yeah. might not. There might be things, and then she might be a maybe. You know, I like this about him, but he's do this nonsense. But I think genuinely, it takes a little while. She does not know unless you do something extremely stupid or extremely spectacular that she's gonna, lack of a better term, give it up when she first meets you. And in, in that case, I think men and women are far more similar than we realize that we give both sexes credit for. Mm -hmm. I think. And women have this capacity to see a man coming down the road about uh, 50 meters away and pick up way more things than a man would ever pick up about the, the opposite yep. sex. Mm -hmm. and, I, and it's ridiculous, man. I was like, wow, yo, yo, this is crazy. But I, I feel personally that in that regard, a woman, just like a man would, would, would see a woman and say, like, would I ever, you know, mm -hmm. have relations with her? A woman does the same, but it's subject to what happens after that. I personally feel because sometimes, you know, you feel so as a hot-blooded male to, to a beautiful woman that, that, you, that you find attractive, and then when she opens her mouth, or you have conversation <laughs> and you realize there's no depth. And you read conversation about Remy. Like, <laughs> huh? And the conversation about Remy. 
Yeah, I can't relate. I can't. And medical, I know so nothing. How do y'all feel when, when a lady starts a conversation about her bills? Oh, that's a turn off. Yeah, I mean. We all got bills, man. Hello, every damn one of us got bills to pay. But no, yeah. that's every, let's be realistic. Yeah. She's starting that conversation to hint that she wants you to pay for the bill. Yeah, yeah. And that's a turn off. And that should be an indicator for you to, like, you know, yeah, she just bought you money. Puss. Yeah. Exit. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I swear, once I snag a puss, you meant something else. <laughs> <laughs> snag. Oh, PG. PG 13. Um, <laughs> yeah, but no, that's, that's an immediate turn off. Because, all right, for instance, how would a lady feel if within minutes. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. On social media, you don't even know this dude you spent. You said, hi, how are you? And he sends you a dick pic. It is the same. Thing. Eggplant, yeah, people. Yeah. Eggplant. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Eggplant pig. Sorry. Eggplant pig, yeah. <laughs> Something in my team. <laughs> <laughs> Eggplant pig. Ah, that's why, that's why. Right. Church on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Wait, but eggplant pig, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. For most people, it's a turn off. For most women, that's a turn off. Mm. So for most men, jumping into that topic straight off the bat is a turn off. It means I'm objectifying you for one thing. I only require or one thing Thank from you. you. I'm only after one thing from you. And that to anyone is a turn off. So it, it, it works. It works both ways. Yes, you may, you may have your bills. Yes, you may be undergoing some stress, especially in this present economy. Yeah. Um, and, okay. and we... Not a conversation. <laughs> we <laughs> empathize and sympathize. Heck, we are undergoing some stress ourselves yeah, as men. Well, um, but... Um, yeah. If you lead off of that, 99.9% .9 of the time, she's trying to hint to you that she wants you to undertake that venture. And unless you're into project management, then no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so bold nowadays. Cheese, yeah. oh, brothers, man. It's, well, I guess on both cases, it's, it's bold. <laughs> I mean, it goes both ways. Both yeah, ways, it goes, yeah. It goes both ways. Yeah. So, how important is sex and good sex in a relationship not just sex because we've all had some bad sex that we regret large blame on the alcohol but are you wish you could have blamed it on the alcohol rather well i always say once i'm part of it it can't be bad sex yeah <laughs> 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 the joke for the audience is <laughs> continue <laughs> but, <laughs> wow okay <laughs> How that's important is called, sex? I'm not, for the lack of better words, yeah, that's stroking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, how important is sex? How I, important is sex and good sex? Yeah, man, of course, man. You want your limbs to tremble and thing, man. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we taking leaps and bounds <laughs> this question. Sorry. But it's, but it's, you know what? It's a reality. That's and, true, man. And it's not, we're not, we're not, we're not cursing or anything. So we're no, not buttering up. But this no. is a reality. People want that effect. Like, Lord, Lord, take me now. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. But question then, for us, if, if that's your, um, that's what I was saying. If you meet a girl who is a... Eight to nine out of ten in every other area, but the sex is a five. Then what? And they're a starfish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Starfish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what? Because in my opinion, we all most people don't meet as virgins, so we all have a little experience as, of of sex. But you don't have an experience of sex with that particular person. Yeah. So therefore, it is a learning process from the beginning. <laughs> So you can actually, for lack of a better term, train your dragon. I, your word choices are... This, this, yeah. this is... This, <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay, so my next question will be communication. So communication, yeah. I was just, I was just about communication yes. is key. key. Yeah. You can, Not just yeah. it comes to set. All right, so... Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Walking that tight road. gone there, <laughs> so I'm going there. You, you're trained. When dragon. it comes to relations and persons performing relations, yeah. mm -hmm. do you speak out when it's not pleasurable or do you let it continue? Do you know me? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's important. When you're, when you're doing a bill, clean, when you're doing a bill, a bill clean yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's not the greatest Bill Clinton. Yeah. Do you speak out during the Bill Clinton? 
No, like like anything else. <laughs> like, honestly, right? Like. <laughs> 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 I feel like you're more uh, right. I feel like you're right. Same black shirt. I feel like you're new moderator. It's a girl, it's a girl. Let me do something else. It's a moderator. Let me play Monopoly or something. Let me do something else. Listen. But the other thing is about, um, all right, for instance, the basics, I expect at a certain level for you to know. If not, we can have a conversation. Yeah. But You think it's an offense to have that conversation? No, no, no. no. I, to me, it's not. Uh, I'll, t- I'll give an example why. I've, I had a friend, a female, who she told me that she loves her boyfriend dearly, but he just wasn't getting her there and they've been together for five years, right? So I said to her, but did you tell him? It's about 10 year communication. Because yeah. he might be thinking that, you know, he's Conan the Adventurer, when really, <laughs> he not. So she said, no, she never told him. I said, well, look, honest to God, and this is something for every male. Yeah. Your woman should be able to tell you in an intimate conversation if you are not performing uh, as she would like. Her, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. And that should not be any condemnation. It's between you and her, anybody got to know. So you go. Just like how you should be able to tell, like, as, as adults, tell your, your significant other the same thing. The same thing. Because as you said, you're, you both come into each other's lives and y'all are not virgins. Y'all have had certain sexual mm-hmm. histories before. And like certain things, just like... <laughs> Bill, the Bill Clinton. <laughs> the Bill, Bill Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> Honestly, women, like, all women think that men love Bill Clinton. Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know, I, <laughs> you know, you know I love this term. You know this term is going to go viral after this. The Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Hashtag Bill Clinton. Hashtag Bill Clinton. Bill, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bill. <laughs> you could be recognized for worse things. Trust me. Hello. But, no, but it, it's true. Yeah, I find that yeah. some mm-hmm. people feel like some people go in thinking that because someone was owing and eyeing before, mm. they might be owing and eyeing for different reasons. Yeah. So don't assume that every person re- will react the same way to the last person. And personally, that makes a relationship even sexier, man. It can't and better can... that the person yeah. is taking their time, they, they listen to your body, they learn yeah. your body. Exactly. And that when you're done, you are trembling at the joints. And yeah. you are saying hallelujah and, and preaching backwards. Back in the day, I used to... Um... <laughs> Pass out and see stars and then. compare it to a, a, com- a nine digit combination. <laughs> a what? Nine digit combination. Right? Then you got I the got set up for this one. <laughs> it's like the keypad that has nine digits. Oh, now, everybody has a nine digit comp a nine digit keypad. You want me to open the lock. <laughs> exactly. But not every person's combination <laughs> is the same. Damn. So therefore you might have had Jane. Jane's been around a lot. We've had Jane, and Jane might be a one three five girl. And one three five might have hit her to the peak of her levels. Yeah. But one three five might be a turn off for Jillian. And now yeah. you gotta learn Jillian. You gotta learn how her body works, how she walks, how she um, reacts to certain stimuli. You gotta learn all that, and then you learn Jane's combination. So you are a better lover when it, sorry Jillian's combination when it comes to Jillian. I'm glad you said that. So, yeah. so many people in the course is the the penetration between yeah. mm. people. So, but it's different between having sex, making love, yes, and a word I ran too sure what I can use right now, but aching, right? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's there's we, having we sex, there's about, making yeah. love and aching, mm. yeah. And so many people do not know how to yes. differentiate the three. All, they're, they're all, the three of them are different. Mm-hmm. But so many people are custom aching that they don't know how to come down mm-hmm. and learn, make love, learn that person, and it not be about them. Exactly. Man. And that's the, I think that's the major problem. It's always about them. And once they, if you ain't, if you ain't get your rocks off before me, you bust luck. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I, hey, I, I, you know. In my latest book, How to Make Whoopi. The <laughs> <laughs> right, Make Whoopi, right, thank you. Um, as you were saying, there, there, it's not necessarily always about you. There's, there is a difference, and I find a lot of people don't know. I'll give another scenario. I was with, I met a fellow on the basketball court, and on the basketball court, we talk a lot of different things. And he is saying that he only knows the bam, 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 bam. And I said, in all of your time with your present partner, that's all you do. Bam, 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 bam. He sell it, bam, 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 <laughs> Yeah. And he said, yeah. 
And at that point in time, I wasn't saved and sanctified. So I said, well, here, this is my phone number. Tell your girl, give me a call. Because clearly she's lacking. <laughs> but the, the almost, more homeless. I almost <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> but in all cases, you have to know that, 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 but that there's okay. times when bam, bam, bam is necessary. There's times when there's yeah. subtle love. Make you all, that is also something that people, not just yeah. men, have to navigate. A woman has to know when it's a man's with that bam, bam, bam time or when she has to be that soft, sultry person. Yeah. You understand know what I mean? Else Kwame will take you out. <laughs> no, he's, no, he, he, he has retired. No, I mean, he's reti bad, he's bad, retired bad. from taking you out. And, and <laughs> he's, he's yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like talking about back then. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, there's a, there's a difference, a, and I think that's the, yeah. the, the, the point that we have to make. There is a difference, and as to be a, a holistic lover to your partner, yeah, you have to be able to differentiate the different times for that. Um, I'll give you a scenario. If, and I'm not sure if this is a 100% scenario, the ladies can correct me. If your lady comes home after a long, hard, stressful day at work, I may not be as physically inclined, up, yeah, to. Yeah. to Doing the whole swinging from the chandelier, <laughs> tree, mm. tree pipe, dismount kind of yeah. thing. You know, I'm sticking it. Yeah, I'm sticking it. She might need that relaxing, burning candles Rubber kind of foot. thing. That that Keith Sweat nineties Keith yeah. Sweat yeah. Oh, kind of music. I, 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 <laughs> but then there are times when she bought the rough and tough, good kind of loving kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. So you you have, you to, have know. to learn. You have yeah. to learn yeah, that yeah, person. Yeah. yeah. Communication again, right? Yeah. Communication is, is important. It's very very important. important in relationships. Yeah. <laughs> we, Keep we sweat, man. It's my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the millennials boy got to do some 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 vintage digging in YouTube for that mm -hmm. one, man. But I I think that people are a lot of people are very selfish. Yeah. In terms of when it comes to sexual gratification or, or self gratification, opposed to wanting to make sure that person is happy and i hear too many men in conversation saying that their particular girlfriend or woman that they're dealing with yeah has never climaxed but you hear a lot of women saying and i'm that like, they, like yeah. what that they never so when they do find that man that makes them climax she ain't going away. yeah no she did she locked, <laughs> she locked up well, you know like, you know i'm a I'm, I'm a realist and i don't like to think of jazzy night this one night, I like to think of the future, you know? Continuous returns. On your investment. I, On your investment? <laughs> you beat me to I didn't know what to say, but I didn't want to investment, but it sounds too cheap. Jeez, oh, God, he's a so <laughs> Listen, well, what I mean is that, to me, I, I'm, a, I'm a real realist, you know? Like, that is what's gonna happen if you don't do what you should be doing. Like, she will find somebody else to do it. Who does not want to reach that pinnacle of, of ecstasy? ecstasy you but know, on that like, same level, is that not in a way selfish? Because, all right, and I was actually going to touch on this before you give your example. Yeah. If you're doing it for continuous returns or to keep having that person coming back, or because you are assuming they're going to talk for bragging rights, then it's not about their gratification. It's about what you are getting from it. Whether what you are getting from it is the orgasm, whether you're getting the advertisement when she talks to her friends, <laughs> is about what you're getting. I think what Greg was saying um, when he made his point was that if you're doing it and to not be selfish, it has to be for the other person solely. And sometimes it is just about that. There are times, believe it or not, and, and mm -hmm. people who have been in long-term relationships or who've been experienced enough can tell you that there are times when you yourself might not even be into it. You yourself might not yeah. want it, but you know mm -hmm. that this is what that person may need, and so mm -hmm. you basically get into character. Yep. And when I've had this conversation with many people about having a, a mental orgasm mm -hmm. opposed to a physical, Preach. where you are... The person having that orgasm gives you your orgasm. Knowing that that person is being pleased mm -hmm. is what mm -hmm. turns you, you on, on and yes. what gives you your your personal bragging yeah. right to know that that person is satisfied. And you can be good. You want the body happy. Yeah. And for any man to have done that to a woman and he don't care about his own gratification, 
You want me to be like... And that's kind of what... I mean, I don't... So I, I don't she think can of scratch it. her head and go, but what's wrong with he? But, <laughs> yeah. but there's, there are times where it is about the person because you're mm. no longer selfish. It's just about yeah. pleasing that person. And this is the reality that so many people cannot get to that higher level. Maybe to go and chant and do some Buddha or something or anything to get that higher understanding that is not about your own personal yeah. gratification. Yeah, Sometimes it's about that other person. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I think kind of what you're, you, what you're saying is absolutely true, and also you as well. But I don't think it's, I wasn't saying that from a selfish place. I just, because I'm speaking from a, a point of view of I'm in a relationship with someone and mm -hmm. that's going down. Because I, mm -hmm. for me, it, it's not, that won't be happening casually, you know? And I'm, so I'm saying pretty much that if, you know, your, your point, it would be, it would be to make everybody happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would be to make everybody happy as opposed to not looking for, you know, validation from outside. Where both people know? walk away from it satisfied yeah. and happy. Correct. You know, I wasn't, okay, right. cause self, being selfish is not kind of what I was going with that. But yeah. yeah. But the, the, sometimes to Greg's point, the mental orgasm can come from your clothes haven't been removed yet, can come from an intellectually yeah. stimulating conversation. Yeah. I have met a lot of women who just want to be able to have an intellectual conversation with a man on par with them. And for the man to be able to, to for lack of a better word, vibe on a particular point. Yeah, yeah. And get in their heads. Yeah. First, and, and also, as much as they understand what the woman is talking about, to give the woman further insight into this particular topic and and when he starts to for lack of a better word or phrase spit fire she then gets aroused and and and, right. and stimulated because she's like this man he on a different level you think a man feels the same way as well too i think it is possible yeah. if we remove the 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 physicality of it if we yeah. if we go to a, a higher or a different level it is possible yeah. i have been um, stimulated by intellectual conversation before yeah. and I'm thinking you know however this end up and if you're done talking it's not gonna happen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's like but because <clears throat> they're they're the words what they're saying yeah, their understanding yeah. their mentality yeah their spirituality coming through their words the depth of intellect speaks and, to something yeah. inside of you and yes, that is deeper in most relationships than a physical connection because when you get old you know you know, it can, can, can get old. Can get old. <laughs> you know, everything can look at Hello. you. Hello. Know. It ain't gonna look cute later. <laughs> you know, you want somebody, you know, you always hear older older folks say, people that have been together for God knows how many years say that, you know, you gotta be able to have a conversation with the person at the yeah. end of the day. Which you is know? very true. A lot of yeah. people don't because they don't communicate. And I think they start out the relationship wrong mm -hmm. yeah. for different reasons. And that's where they, they lose one another in terms of the lack of true communication and who they are about. Okay, so um, have y'all encountered a relationship where the person asks you how many sexual partners you had before the relationship? Almost all. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, friend said. I don't want to know the number. And I was like, what? Damn, I'm quiet over me now, man. I mean, yeah, it happens. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Jesus what? on earth will have to come down and tell me to tell you that number. <laughs> because, to be honest, what does it matter? And yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to speak of it because it's more significant when a man asks. And I'll tell you why. Because we have this thing about, or most men, I should say, let me quantify yeah. it. Most men have this thing about, um, this possessive thing you want the girl that you want to commit to to be virginous and virtuous yeah. but have all the knowledge and experience of a porn star but not the actual physical experience of yeah. a porn star. <laughs> I, but, I, and, and the thing is we ask how many partners you have and and let's say i mean what really does it matter in the long run i mean those people aren't still there so what does it matter and as long as she is in attractive physical form then it really doesn't matter the only thing is is that whenever we out or whatever you keep your people to a respectable level yeah. and i'll keep my people to a respectable level you know they, and we respect they, the relationship you know they always say that a, wo a woman if a woman gives a man an answer 
is 10 less. And, 10 a, ma- less, and yeah. a, man's, <laughs> a man gives the answer is 10 more. 10 more, yep. I've heard that. But yeah. you, to be honest, yeah. to, 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 to just lay that to bed, it doesn't matter because then what? If she is a 10 in every area mm-hmm. and she is 30 and she's had 50 partners, what then? Do you just leave her because she had 50 partners in her past? Yeah. Really? But you will find that that switches so easily. So men expect a woman to for to have two or three. And then sometimes when a woman hears that a man have a barrel of partners, it mm. seems to be more excitable for some, not all, yeah. for some. But so a guy thinks of her as more of a tramp or something and you have one well, of my boys, especially if that doesn't <laughs> happen, or you have one well, my boys, so dad, I, mm. I can't, I can't get there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's some bruv love. <laughs> I ain't going there. So you, 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 or you, you, you had Joseph and mm, no, uh, I can't mm. get there. But no, I had a situation where a good friend of mine, mm-hmm. a, a lady was talking mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. the... Mm-hmm. The girl from the eggplant with all of her girlfriends. Uh-huh. And then the girlfriends now all wanted to really know how... To experience it themselves. Yeah. Yes, thank you. They wanted, they wanted nutritional value. So I think sometimes value, they, they, yeah. they need to keep certain conversations personal yeah. and not um, share everything with someone because... You will think that your girlfriend is not going to overstep your boundaries. Men may not do that and say, oh, I told him, uh, Jane, once again, mm. Jane, yeah. or oh, Jane, sweet, whatever. A man not going to think the same way. All these Jane names. <laughs> and automatically, but I know a lot of persons who yeah. gravitate, they want to experience what they were experiencing because, like, Kwame, give me a give, give number because clearly <laughs> yeah. something is wrong with that person, so... It's, it's all relative to everybody's situation yeah. and what they have experienced. But this is the reason, and I know um, this generation tends to disregard everything the older ones have said. And sometimes in the moment, you may not know why a more experienced person gives you this advice. But sometimes this is why it's better to leave the physical intercourse in a relationship for a little bit later after you get to know the person because that's the formula for long lasting yeah. or possible formula for long lasting relationships in that if i get to know you um you know your spirit your experience your characters your character then you nothing much surprises me later on we can always fix the physical if i start off physical and i'm bonded to you that way and then two weeks later i realize that you're a slob and i can't handle it i was telling you have to some, you have to have something to 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 go towards, and, I, and, not, and I'm not just saying that you're doing that just for sex, because that would sound selfish. But I mean, it's a journey, and it should not start with what is so easily able to do in the first mm-hmm. place. I was telling someone today, my barber. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> anyway, I was saying that. Do you think? Because I personally believe that when two people have sex, it changes things. Whether you would like to categorize that and say what exactly it changes. Mm-hmm. but it changes the dynamic of that relationship. It could only change it. Whether it's for the better, for the, you know, slightly all feel awkward around each other or whatever, but y'all are not, when you've entered each other's bodies, there's nothing more intimate than that. Call me face. I get, 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 for the lack of that, we understand. <laughs> but do, do you think that, now you said the intimacy yeah. and sex, do you think it's easier... For a man to have to be physical, no. Meet a lady, no. Be physical, move on, and no emotional attachment than for a lady. I yes. Um, I think uh, we're not in the era where women yeah. are are holding to the fact that a lot of women tend to quote unquote want to be like men, and they think to be yeah. like men means to be emotionally not attached. So therefore. You find women pursuing you and they're very happy to hear that you're in a relationship or married because when they're done, they send you home. Do you I'm gonna, don't feed, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, feed, <laughs> I'm gonna feed you, I'm gonna pay you bills, I'm gonna do nothing, just do you gotta do and left. So it is easier if that's what you're looking for mm. to to find that in a woman nowadays. Um whether it all is about the end goal. If your end goal, um, remember when we started, you asked Joseph if he was looking or if he was um, just working on himself. Mm-hmm. There are people, men and women, 
who are focused on their careers, who are focused on building them. And for lack of better words, they might just want the physical satisf satisfaction. And the excitement too. And the excitement, yeah. but not necessarily a relationship, which yeah. comes with a the, lot the commitment. more. Yeah, the commitment. Yeah. So if that's what you're going after, I'm not going to debate whether that's right or wrong, because that's what you're after, that's your goal. And so just once you stay out front, we ain't got no issues. However, I find when there's trickery involved, when one person is expecting one thing and another person is expecting another thing mm -hmm. is where we have clashes and, and confrontations. Mm -hmm. So exactly where yeah. we go back to communication. So it is easier to find it nowadays. Um, but if you find a female, I'm speaking from a male's point of view, if you find a female who wants something deeper, all right, for instance, in other words, a, a man and a woman are in a similar position. They're mm -hmm. both unattached, you know, not in a relationship. And they both, they both have an understanding. Yeah, they have an understanding. understanding. Yeah. Or if you, if, uh, if I was saying, if, I'm, if you find a woman who That's wants a, a relationship, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who wants something deeper, <laughs> then you, you, yeah. you, if you can give something deeper, this is your opportunity to pursue something deeper yeah. with that person. But the, one of the worst things on either sex is for you to find somebody who is looking for that deep commitment and you give them shallow intentions. Mm. You know where you're coming from? Yeah, yeah. As a woman and you find a man who is finally ready to settle down, who is willing to do the whole kids marriage thing and everything. And you just want to play the field and hop from party to party to party and from eggplant to eggplant to eggplant, then you are going to rip him up on what you create afterwards. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is going to be displeased about. And then it's like, and it's, and it's opposite. If yeah. you are a man and you find a woman who wants to settle down and you mess her up, the, 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 the being you create after you rip her up or rip her apart with your, with your bad intentions is going to be a, a, a bitter person. And then she in turn might be bad to somebody else. Yes. And the cycle goes on. Yes. So the drama yeah. or the excuse uh, that a lot of, a lot of, I hear a lot of men saying is that, you know, well, she knew what she picked up and, you know, going along, pretending to be this person of intention. And then when it gets down the road to be, you know, on a commitment scale, you're like, well, I got nothing to offer you. So, you know, you should have expected it. You're, you're actually making yourself, you're making the situation a hundred times worse because you gave a false impression mm -hmm. and then you, you bottomed out right when you were supposed to man up. You know what I mean? Okay. And so... Moving on, what do you feel? Okay, no, and before I go there, let me go back to your Valentine's Day. Valentine's was mm -hmm. yesterday. What is a perfect date for you? Cuddling. <laughs> you just big and squishy, right? <laughs> big and squishy. <laughs> I got I, I go on the pink pants, too. I, I got on the pink pants. Big pants. Nah. Um, okay, let me quantify it. Uh, perfect date would be something that is meaningful to you and your partner. That's it. It does not have to be no matter what it what is. It is. Yeah. And this is the, the point I want to drive home about these kind of events. If your partner enjoys, um, if they like, oh, go over the moon for Magnum ice cream. Oh dear God, don't go there. <laughs> and or, or for instance, if you guys, um, if you guys met on the boardwalk mm -hmm. and shared one of the most intimate, touching, mental moments, yeah, yeah, your Valentine's Day could be going back there, going back there yeah. with a bottle of wine and 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 some yeah. food. You know what I mean? Just the the, the the being there. I'm not saying that boardwalk is the yeah. ideal place, but it has to be. I find Less things is more. Yeah. Not just that, but it has to be something that the person yeah. values. It's unique and special to so there are women yeah. or and there are men who don't necessarily value something expensive. Mm. In that, yeah, I can see that, that this watch costs a thousand dollars, but it's neither here or there for me. But if you remember that my mother who passed away had a Victorian um clasp on uh, sorry a victorian yeah. chain yeah and you bought that for me the exact replica of what she left for me but i lost mm -hmm. that could cost twelve dollars but it is important to the person so i find gifts of of sentiment are more important than gifts of of money and value yeah and monetary value yeah i would have, so I, that I would is have my to answer agree. to that question yeah was a perfect valentine's day date 
something that is personal and and intimate between you and your partner no matter what that is and it must be mutual valentine's day isn't about just you giving a woman a gift mm -hmm. it has to be reciprocated and not in intercourse <laughs> do, do you feel that you should whatever it is okay so you know they had that there's a video and the guy gave oh, the wow. girl yes. um <laughs> some bad thing they gifts and she didn't have anything for him and she re her return gift was basically what he gets all the time mm. and he went off on her saying that i want flowers too i want candy i want mm. cars you, i get that all the time why do you think that that's a gift and I, i've heard people talk about this scenario the guy goes on his way to to get something tangible that is physical and some women, not all, mm. not all, return by saying that this is what you're going to get tonight. Because that is, as a woman that believes, she thinks that all men are the same. That's like what I said in from the beginning, at the beginning of the show. You know, like that is not really. Are we always in the mood for that? You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, sorry, answer no to answer your question. I'm with, <laughs> I'm with you, Joseph. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but. It may be uh, it may be part of the night, but I mean, like that is not what you're supposed to expect that I am looking for and should be only satisfied with, you know. That's not a gift. That's not a, yeah. You just, that, 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 you know? That's not a gift. That's an expectant, arrogant move. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm a little, I was a little, <laughs> a little, a little <laughs> passionate about that one. You know what I mean? But I mean, but, seriously. Yeah, I I completely agree. Um, like I said, it works both ways. If you're good, we some men do the flowers and candy because that's what their significant other enjoys. No, not all women enjoy flowers and candy, so you have to know your woman, especially in crop over season. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> but in right after carnival, well, you know. In reciprocation, she has to know you, and it. I am not, and it also, this also goes for anniversaries and stuff as well. Yeah. Birthdays. Yeah. It's not just this significant days. shared, yeah. um, yeah. significant shared um, uh, occasions. It's not just about what the man gives the woman. Um, it's monetary value, whatever. It also is what she gives to him and the fact that she knows him and she knows what he would like. It does not have to be expensive. In fact, I don't think, in my opinion, that Valentine's Day should be one of those days that you go out and spend a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. I don't see why that's necessary. It should be Valentine's Day should be a day that you show mm. um, love and appreciation in a tangible, significant way to your significant other that is meaningful to them. Mm. So therefore, my gift to you should be personal. It shouldn't be something that every woman would want or enjoy yeah. it has to be fingerprinted to you so to speak correct and therefore you know that i've taken the time to know you i've taken the time to know things about you that you may not even know about yourself i find sometimes when a, a relationship gets to the level where the man can finish the woman's sentences it is not that he's being presumptuous but he just knows no, how her yeah, mind works yeah. so that is what i think should happen on valentine's day mm -hmm. Uh, I also want to address, now that we're here, and I know that it's probably going off on the, the, the feeds, because there's a sentiment that people don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It's a commercial holiday. It's about this, it's about that. And I'd like to address that by saying, to me, I think that is a load of rubbish. And I say that mm -hmm. to be, I've heard the, the, the sentiment that, well, don't you show your partner love every day? Well, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. But on Mother's Day, should we not celebrate Mother's or Father's Day because we show our mothers and fathers love every day? Yeah. It is a day to a do something extra. Sure. So if extra. your level yeah. is at eight with your partner, that day you're going nine. Because yeah. And also, even if you're at that level, it also gives those who get so wrapped up with life, um, a, a woman who gets so wrapped up with career and, and children and, 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 and being a woman, that she doesn't show a high level of appreciation to her man mm -hmm. every day. It's a day for her to say, you know what? Let me do something for him. 
it is a time for men to do the exact same thing. Yeah. It does not mean that this is the only time this happens. Yeah, but it's a good reminder, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good reminder for you to re for you to realize. I want to take your the person in your life, for whether granted. that be for granted, not not even necessarily if it's a, a romantic partner, but anyone in your life that you care for. That is love. very true. Good point. Yeah. Anyone you love. Yeah. So Valentine's Day isn't just for lovers. Yeah. You could um, take that opportunity to show. Well, I said no Valentine's show for everyone. My Facebook <laughs> page. Yeah. Show love to everybody. So it's about showing love and appreciation. For persons in your life. Yeah, and to be honest, yeah, this girl world that we're living in now, doesn't this world lead a little bit more? Yeah, man. Oh dear um, God, love, uh, a, a, a lot. Not just a little bit. No, like a whole handful. <laughs> not sprinkle. You throw it. We got to start yeah. pouring love and some all the anger and, and frustration and hatred going on. Nobody is not just domestic but foreign. The yeah, world yeah. in general needs a more more injection of the sentiment of yeah. love true love it doesn't have to be sexual love it could be brotherly love yeah. it could be love for a friend it could be human love just love for a human being the fact it that they're compassionate it's compassion yeah for, for life that's why you know, i thought would be a great gift sorry to cut you yeah um if somebody a company or catered a day just valentine's day to have to go out on the streets and just give every person they saw that was, let's say, on their way to work, well-dressed, just struggling day-to-day -day in life to, to, to beat the grind. Those hardworking people, just give the first 50 people a rose, regardless of our sex, male you know, or female. I'm glad you're going yeah. back there. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I was trying to see if I was going to even bring it back up. So I was cashing out at a particular store in Barbados, and they had a lot of displays and stuff. I looked at that one single rose for $37. <laughs> $37 for one yeah. red rose. You want, I mean, I, I understand your side, right? <laughs> but $37 for one, one, not, not to say that they had uh, the, the carnations in it and this thing and whatever and a rose with a bow around it. That's the that's the other end. Like, of, that's like, the other end of the spectrum. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. where that's where the the it is. The, and for me, to, I said commercial, to say, to I appreciate what you are saying. Yeah. But it is just so expensive to well, do. Not a real rose. Oh, okay, but fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but because it's, to me, it's about the sentiment. I wish. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. That we live in a, a society where I can see. Uh, well-dressed man i can see a well-dressed woman i can see a person who is hard working who is taking the time to to present themselves to the world well whether they're on a bus whether they're walking to work and say you know what i see how hard you're struggling i see how hard you are working to be the best you you are i appreciate you for that. Yeah. For yeah. and it doesn't have to be a real rose it could be a, a, a key ring for all we, we know but what i'm saying is just show love and appreciation for our people yeah for the ones out there who are the law-abiding hard-working people out there who are just doing everything they can to to just survive to make it and show that hey i know life is hard but i appreciate what you're doing that that's all is about uh, and if the 37 dollar rose in the field you can always use a, a panty rose if you don't know what that that's is you're too young <laughs> But you know, <laughs> to even add to what you're saying, you know, as simple. A panty rose. You never heard of it? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why I endorse. That's why I endorse the cuddling. Is it connected to the cuddling? No. 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 Well. No. Uh, well. No. <laughs> Tell me after. Well, it depends. But even I'll go a step further mm. and break it down even more into, into a smaller bite-sized piece. Mm. Even to sit to tell someone, have a great day. Yeah and and how are you today we we are no longer friendly it's true we are no longer kind yeah. i i think killing people with kindness really has become archaic yeah. is it, it, no longer done there's you, something that is it's too in the soft museum. you know so to, what you, yeah. you're being kind for but shaking that we should know yeah sometimes even tell someone you know what thank you for your service have a great day or yeah. you gave me great service thank you so much yeah what's wrong with that? expect it is a crime nowadays yeah. and that's what you think came about with the the artists we mentioned previously to expect because we are supposed to be don't forget Barbados is supposed to be one of the friendliest Barbadians one of the friendliest people in the Caribbean but yet to expect um friendly behavior is a crime it is if we're, we're only supposed to export 
the, the friendliness. We're not yeah. supposed to do it to ourselves, apparently. When we pass, how much times have you passed on the road growing up? Um, how we did, and you yeah. say good good morning, and it's not said back. How many times have you said um, have a good day? Yeah, and it's not said back. I mean, no, you're not doing it for it to be said back, yeah. but it's just good, decent manners, and it also reciprocates. Yeah. The, 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 the friendliness, the appreciation. The embrace of humanity. It's, it's, yeah. It sets a tone, you know? And, and it's like, so you energize yeah. me with your, with your positivity. Exactly. And I give it's it back energy, to you. Yeah. And you're energized with my positivity. But you know you're saying, but most people are shocked when you go, have a great day, thank you. It's true, they are. They're, they're, they're shocked. Mm, they're yeah. really, truly shocked. So you are right. We need mm. to show more love in any form or fashion that we possibly can. Mm. But we really don't. I mean, we get so caught up in... in Engrossed in our own personal lives, our own issues, that even turn and tell somebody something you, but well, she ain't came with me, so why you can show her something? So that's the thing. If they don't show you something, you don't want to show them yeah. something. But somebody got to start. It's yeah. not about it's not about the reaction that that person. But exactly, it's about but setting it's a selfishness yeah. that we are trained tone, yeah. to, to be about. So it got well, what yeah. is it for me? Yeah, exactly. So it is it is really really What's strange. What's it for me? Yeah. But anyhow, um, we can wrap up just now. But what do you feel? destroys relationships i think you just hit on it just now selfishness lack of mm -hmm. communication two major factors right there dishonesty yeah dishonesty um lack of the, the breaking of the trust bond and that's to me that's that's the major thing that that kills relationships in a relationship especially one that's serious mm -hmm. you a person holds your secrets they hold you you hold them Mm -hmm. And from the time that bond is broken, either by deceit, by by the by cheating, by, mm -hmm. that which is a form of deceit, um, that is what destroys relationships. Sometimes it's as easy as a lie can des destroy a relationship because a lie is something that is a seed. You 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 never know how far it's grown. You never know how far the lie went. Yeah, you lied to me about this person, mm -hmm. but what else have you lied about? What else have you have you not been honest about in our relationship? Those are things that destroy a relationship. The other things are just leading towards mm -hmm. that. Because people say sometimes not dealing with finances well can lead to destruction oh, yeah. of a relationship. Um, which is something that people who are serious about being in a committed relationship need to talk about. Because men are weaned to think that, you know, we are great at money, but some men really aren't. And there's no shame in saying, mm -hmm. you know what? If I keep this money in my hand, it can burn and I can go and buy, I can go and gamble, I can go and buy PlayStation games and all kind of thing. Yeah. I tell you what, I'll give you the, <laughs> yeah. the, the producers <laughs> so that the bills get paid and we can eat. <laughs> and I'll just take this small pittance and do as I like. So if I buy ice and watch it melt, that's my business. Nah, at least the bills are paid. Mm -hmm. But and also some women aren't good with money. They will mm -hmm. go and buy Remy or whatever. And I'm not oh, saying boy. it, but I'm just saying it as an example. And so... Giving a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm sorry, a really, really good one. It's a good, it's, it's, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you trust your partner enough, you can do that. And those kind of things break relationships. Because if you depend on the female to pay her share and she buys Remy, you ain't going to be pleased, to say the least. Another good example or another good question is, in a relationship, is it 50-50 when it comes to paying? bills paying sharing or if the woman makes more should she pay more if the man makes more should he pay more all these are burning questions okay <laughs> right so let me wrap this up with a question <laughs> yeah. for each of y'all but i have to okay. word it different yeah okay uh, for you. if you have to describe your wife in one word what would it be one is me yeah you, i said <laughs> wife hello <laughs> i was you uh, I thought you just described my wife in one word. It would be phenomenal. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, she's the she's the hero to me, and um, I am loud, <laughs> um, outspoken. No. She's <laughs> <laughs> she's like wait, like water. She would absorb. And, and, and she would subtly, you know, say what she has to say. She's very soft-spoken. Yeah. In fact, so much so that I know when she stands on a point that it's something I really should listen to because mm. she wouldn't put up this much of a fuss 
if unless it, was, yeah. it means something. She's very fluid and and um, she's very intelligent, very smart. I rely on her for a lot. I consider her opinion very heavily, and um, in everything, she's everything wrapped up in one: the career woman, the wife, the mother. She does it all, and I am one of those guys who are in awe of how she gets everything fit into a 24-hour day. Um, so, yeah, my word would be phenomenal. So if you had to describe, Joseph, to you, if you had to describe that woman mm -hmm. that you want in one word, what would that word be? Oh, man, I would... One word. For me, like... I don't know, say um, something, even if it's a word, it could be a phrase, it could be what Yeah, yeah, what a you a phrase, I don't think I could send a map in a word, be, um, but I would say, like, designed by God for me, because I, I pray for that every day, because I'm a Christian, and I, and I ask the Lord every day, honestly, that, you know, I'm tired looking around, I, there has to be someone that understands me for me, and mm -hmm. will, and will accept you, and will accept me, and, take me to that next level and we we both put in 100 percent and you know will compliment me in every way you know as i will do my best to her as well so can i say something yeah, yeah. Than Joseph? um on that level i found this to be very insightful if you consider yourself a good man then how about praying for a woman who deserves you but who you do not deserve yeah. Meaning that if she's with you, you better yourself to be her equal. But she deserves, because many times we get in a relationship where we are the good guys mm. and we are we are disappointed. I never like to think of myself as a good guy. I, I never want to use that label on myself because that's a, that's a no, kind of a, it's a, it's a kind of vain, you know, self. It's, it's not that wrong with saying well, 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 hello. <laughs> You still have to have some sort of standard for yourself yeah. in terms yeah. of how you see yourself. So. But yeah, yeah. So now, that... Mom, that Conditional statement yeah. puts it in a way that, one, if you're a good guy and she deserves you, it means she's of the level on par with you. Mm -hmm. If she is somebody that you don't deserve, it means that, in your opinion, you are not haughty, you're not arrogant, you're not above her, but you're always bettering yourself to be the man she deserves. I get you. You get where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So, yeah. That's how I think about it. Well, yeah. guys, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. I mean, I'm certain everybody out there yeah. has learned something today when it comes to relationship, understanding people better. And I think we need, what I want people to take out of this is, is self-analysis mm -hmm. and really sit down and know, learn who you are before you try to expect somebody to know you. If you do not know yourself, how is somebody going to understand who you are and love you for you? So... Joseph and Kwame, thank you so much for joining me on Tea Time. Thank you as well. It was a pleasure mm -hmm. and there was, was no vodka in Kwame's cup. And this is, <laughs> like <laughs> prop. This is actually real tea. I'm impressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they both had tea for the first, first time. time. First time. They had tea for the first time. <laughs> first time. But thank you for joining us on Tea Time with Greg. And share and like the page. And I have one more one week pass from Surfside to give away. So I'll be checking to see those persons who have shared and liked the page. And remember, join us every Thursday for tea time. And you never know who is going to be on. And maybe next week, actually, no, Candy is on next week. Maybe the week after, the ladies will decide to join me on tea time <laughs> and share their views and opinions. So once again, I'm Greg Williams. I thank you for joining us on tea time.